What is up, Parmaniacs? Pass days here. We're back in the world. 1.12.2 pack. And, uh, oh my god, have I been busy. Alright, so, a few things. I mean, you're going to notice a lot of things. But one of the few things that you're going to notice here is I do have logistics pipes sort of set up. Um, we're not really into it yet, but I am currently working on this. Um, the reason that we're not here yet is, uh, wait, I don't understand this. All right, we'll just start working on the next thing. Okay. So I don't understand how logistics pipes works yet. So this is not going to be a tutorial on logistics pipes, but uh, I am trying to use it for one of my setups I'm fixing to show you, uh, because I need auto crafting. Um, one of the things that we're using uh, I need to be able to make a block, and I could do it by hand, but this thing is, is a thirsty bitch. It gobbles items, and if I do it manually, it's it's just not going to work. So, um, to get started with it, you can't just hook the machine up. You have to have some of the stuff for it. And unfortunately, Logistics Pipes has implemented a research system. And the way that research system works is you have the program compiler, which compiles different programs. And I need a card with a crafting program on it so I can make a crafting pipe so that it will request the crafting, the, it will request that the item craft the component that I needed to craft so it can go into the network. And to do that, I have to unlock it and I haven't gotten there yet. Um, and unfortunately this machine doesn't work on its own. It needs its own special power. And that power is called logistics power, which is right here. Uh, thankfully, the logistics power junction will just hook in uh, to the back here. But it, you uh, like I originally had them right next to each other and going over the top, that doesn't work. They have to be apparently like this, which makes no sense to me because it should work also over the tops. I don't know why it won't work over the tops. It might have something to do with these little lines here, but I, I really don't know. Uh, I'm new to this mod. So I am working on um, unlocking things, um, and, and yeah. Also, I don't know what happened, but my generator shut down. Um, I didn't notice it till I was completely out of power. Uh, thankfully, I still had my energy cube uh, off the network from when we went to uh, the other world. So I was able to get back into my MA system, get my stuff out, I made more. And I'm never taking this down ever again. It will always be set up and I'm always going to keep one energy cube, which of course I have forgotten to do. I need to get it back out. Um, I'll do that after the video. Um, but yeah, this, this is always going to be set up and then I'm going to always charge it right now. It's offline, uh, but I, I'll, I'll hook it back up in a minute and make it charge. We almost have enough energy back in it to uh, fire back up. I don't know why it, it dropped. <coughs> I have an idea though. So first off, I want you guys to take a real close look right down here at this stuff. Uh, you can see that this is full, this is empty, and this is running at full power. Now, this thing up here only consumes uh, 12 of these fuels at the moment, which is nice, um, but it can be a real problem if I don't have enough. So I'm, I'm most likely going to have to make more neutron activators here in a minute. Also, um, I had to take the whole, yeah, that's right. You're gonna know some stuff's missing. <laughs> Oops. Um, I had to switch over to resistive heaters. Uh, resistive heaters are, um, what do you call it? They're, um, well, they suck, really. But they're powered by electricity. Um, I don't think, yeah, I've, I've just hooked up a few of them and I'm plugging them into here, but as you can see, we're not producing nearly enough of this. So I'm going to have to crank. I mean, it is still increasing. You'll see it's up to 654, 7. I mean, it's going up, but it's going up really, really badly. So um, I may have to make more of these. Like, And I mean, I've already got a fucking shit ton of them. Um, and it, it seems like, weirdly enough, different machines are running at different heats. Like this one is almost... So I, I guess it is working. I just need more. Which is fine, because, I mean, we technically have unlimited resources, and I can just keep pounding away on it, but... Um, so, anyways, the generator shut off. Uh, I need to grab that energy cube and hook it back up to the network. Where are we? Oh, God. Did I lose it? 
energy no okay so i'm gonna go and hook it now this isn't enough to fill this up or to make it do its thing uh input there you go and you're full thank you um it's not enough to start the network completely on its own um so i'm gonna need to make sure that thing is full so let's do this ultimate there we go oops and we'll just hook it up right here there we go and now they're charging again perfect okay and i'll just leave that running Okay, so I took down all of the extra machines that we weren't using. Uh, we had a whole bunch of machines right here in the middle that were used for the PRC machine uh, that was used to get this started. Um, I took it down. I uh, obviously was on the video and took all this shit down, um, but I cleaned up pretty much everything. Um, and I think this is also part of the reason this, is, this stopped working is I've been working down here. God dang it, this thing fucking went offline again, didn't it? Why did you go offline? This literally... Oh, it's not... A, what do you... What the fuck are you doing? Why isn't it cutting? What in the absolute fuck? Don't tell me this thing is full over here. No! What is this thing's problem? This thing has been running fine for mu oh, There was an update. I forgot to mention that. Uh, there was a pack update. It's possible that this pack update fucks some shit up. But it shouldn't. I mean... He should be good. Oh, his woodcutter's broken. God dang it. How do I repair this again? Do I need diamonds? I do need diamonds. Those are doing well for me, by the way. I'm like, what in the hell is wrong with this thing? All right, diamonds. I don't know how many I need, so we'll just take them all. I'm gonna have to get some more diamonds because we're running out. Okay. Um, put him in here. How do I repair? Wait. Do I just put it here? Oh, for the love of everything holy. I know there's a way to repair this thing. But now I can see it. Durability, pressure from where I'm from, will occupy. I just want to repair it. So I have to pull it off and modify it, don't I? So if I come up here. And then assemble. You're gonna do your... Okay, so it's cooking. Well, that's fucking stupid. Okay. Anyways, this is ore 5xing. Um, part of the problem we have right now is this right here. Um, this is being fixed soon with this, um, but it is not being fixed right now. Uh, because this machine is too stupid. Well, I need the thing. Eventually, what this is going to do is it's going to pass <clears throat> charcoal to this, which is going to make blocks, which will then pass it to the logistics network, which will put it into here, which will then make significantly more. And I'll, I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, I don't have enough space on me at the moment to really show you this, I don't think. Uh, we'll do this like that. Oh, wow. That just, I love it when it does that. Boop, 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 boop. 
Oh, that's the wrong kind. Okay, that's fine. We can get at least a good chunk. There we go. Okay. And then we put this in here. Excuse me, sir. There we go. So instead of making, and I'll show you here so you can see it, instead of making one, it makes nine, which then lasts a little bit longer in there. There you go. See, it starts to build up a backlog as long as it's in cubed form, which then comes down to here. We're, and I'll, I guess I'll start up here. So this is the first machine we made. So this takes water and makes hydrogen and oxygen. Um, that goes into here. So you've got water and oxygen with coal, and this makes sulfur. Um, sulfur then here makes, or is it? Uh, you can't really fucking see it, but it makes, uh, I think it's sulfur dioxide. This makes sulfur trioxide, and then this makes sulfuric acid. Um, and then this over here is just making, it turns water into water vapor, which is what the other thing here means. All of that gets run down here. Now, remember when we were looking earlier and this was full? Okay, it's still full. Um, I, I think we might be so far away that the chunks unload. I think. And, or parts of them do. And I think that's what caused my problem. It's either that or you guys remember I had the um, the mining guy over there and it was keeping this thing up. Um, and then I went through a few ages and I think maybe it shut off then. I'm honestly not sure. Um, I do know I need to get more of these heaters to get this back up to speed because this is definitely suffering. Um, but it's it's still enough, as you can see with fuel. We're still keeping up. Um, it's just not like filling up this pipe. This pipe can probably hold like 40 or 50 buckets and it's producing maybe 40 at a time. So it's, it's just really gonna take a while. All right, so that sulfuric acid comes all the way down to here and, and hits this machine. This is the dissolution chamber. All right, so let's come down here. You can see we have no gold in here, right? No gold. All right, so we're gonna put three gold. Well, I'm gonna do one first. So one gold goes into here, which then, oh shit, it's so fast. It makes a dirty slurry, which fills into here. And then that dirty slurry comes into here, which then makes gold crystals. Uh, and I think I stopped here because you can see this is not spitting out. So I'm gonna turn auto eject on. And I need to, where's the configure, configurator? Turn this on and then turn it off. Okay. All right, so transport config. Uh, okay, let's double check. Output is dark blue. So eject is on. Usually that's enough. And that should be coming into here. So with this bad boy, we want the inputs to be, there we go. So he should be receiving. Let me try sucking. Is that gonna work? No. That's very interesting. I wonder if I have to do it at the top. This is the part I haven't configured, so. So I do it, no, that won't work. That won't work. Um, it could be behind, but I doubt it. I think it's more something I've just fucked up here. So that's dark blue for input. Yeah, we don't want that output. Yeah, flipping through that, I don't think it's helping me either. I hate these machines so much because they hate me more than anything. Usually auto eject is enough to get this thing going. And we've got output on the right, which is here. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna take the 10 gold crystals and bring them over here. And then we put the 10 gold crystals into here, which then processes and then goes through, and then I have to turn auto eject back on here, which it's there, which it's there, and boom. We have our, our gold ingots. So we have 10 now. Let's put two in here. And you can see those just zip through. And you can see up here it's doing its thing. I still don't know why this isn't working. 
gases, nope, energy, that doesn't matter. And ejects on. That should be working. Uh, and I've got upgrades in the mall, and this one also will take a gas upgrade, so it's got those. Um, so yeah, we can now 5x stuff. And I was going off of the wiki. There's a couple different ways to do what I've done. Um, usually if you have gunpowder, excuse me, if you have gunpowder, um, you can make sulfur in a different method. So basically we would have had to take uh, cobble to gravel, gravel to gunpowder, gunpowder through a process to get sulfur and then go through here. I just said, fuck it. And we just made sulfur, which works too. Uh, the problem is we will have to keep this thing running uh, 24 seven more or less. Uh, and I was looking forward to decommissioning that shortly. Oh my God. It's going to take half an hour. Fuck this mod. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh Lord help us. All right. So let's come back over here. Um, yeah, I don't, I still don't get all of this stuff. So I guess we're just going to keep unlocking. So my understanding according to logistics pipes is there is a shit ton of different things and you won't know what is available in these different, because we're unlocking categories. And as you unlock the categories, you unlock the ability to use those categories uh, because we need to load programs onto this. So you see where it says no valid program loaded. And then if I want to make a crafting pipe, which is what I want to make over here. Uh, I think I have it. Yeah, there it is. If I want to make this, I have to have a logistics programmer with a pipe program loaded of crafting logistics pipe. So uh, until I get that, we can't do anything. And it's kind of disappointing too, because I am shoving 2 million, and we've got 2 million LP into this. Uh, I mean, and it, it just went in instantly because obviously our network's amazing. Um, I still don't know why this won't work. They're crystals. Crystals have to be a physical item that should work with this. I mean, alternatively, I could, and that was the real son of a bitch on this, is this machine basically had to take from the left um, so I could output on the right. So I had to break my line, which made me really, really sad. Um, and obviously there's no factories for this process. Um, I don't think there is a chemical. Yeah, there's chemical. Yeah, there's no factories that I'm aware of. So this is a chemical crystallizer, which is right here. So if I press U on this, that's hilarious that you can make different paintings, but you, what in the fuck? Why in the world would you want to make... I don't understand. It's like you can make glass. Paint it with chemical... Not solid for monsters. So you can... Paint... What? Why? I guess you could make something that monsters would fall through? That just seems really... Really odd. Oh well. And yeah, I've, I have no idea why this isn't working. I'm pretty sure it's connected. Let me verify. I mean, that would be hilarious if I fucked up and just didn't connect it. I can see me doing that. I really can. But no, it is 100% connected. And this is logistic transporter pipes, right? No, that's mechanical, sorry. Yeah, ultimate logistic transporter. Transports items, ultimate logistics transporter. Yep. So that should work. There's no reason it shouldn't. I don't care about the color, brosif. I just want the damn thing to work. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is it might want to go from the back. Or do I have a wrench? Yes, I do. Don't I? Okay, that was weird. It like was there and then it was gone. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's clear this and this. Yeah, as you can see, there's nothing there. So, it might be on the bottom, though? Uh, let me put these up, clear out my inventory. 
Let's try looking at the bottom. Uh, okay, so break you. And then let's just try ultimately just, yeah, I won't even connect. So it has to be on that right side. So the only other thing I can think of is possibly, where's the power? Nope. And I'm sure some of you are yelling at me because it's probably something stupid that I'm missing. And I will cover it in the next video, whatever it is I missed. I mean, it's not like it's not already on video, you know. My shame is here for everyone to see. Um, Ultimate Logistics Transporter? Hey, babe. You want to come save the day? Maybe. You, you get to show yourself smarter than me yet again. I'm trying to figure out... I can't get this thing to suck out. What? Can't make it suck, no. Story of my life. <laughs> All right, so I've got a chemical crystallizer here, right? Mm -hmm. This is where I'm 5Xing my ores. So I've got 10 gold ore, or gold crystals here, which I'm assuming are a physical item. And then I have a logistics transport. I have this pipe set up everywhere to transport items. It goes down through here, up, into here. And this right here, uh, red is input. So I have on the right, I guess I have to change that to red, don't I? Still nothing. Uh, and this is item config. So would that be input here? Damn it, I'm stupid. Never mind. Never mind, I fixed it myself. I didn't need you after all. Sometimes it just helps to have somebody <laughs> stand over you condescendingly, looking at you like you're a fucking moron. Thanks, babe. Ow! You better run. Get my hands on those, you'd be in trouble. All right, so, fucking hell. Let's go ahead and pull, I hate that these things don't stack by the way, it just, it annoys me to no end. All right, put that up, that up, that up, that up. I'll probably get those caches back out here in a minute. Um, sort, no, no, sort, fuck, sort, there we go. What I'm doing here is I'm just freeing up enough space so that we can, uh, run a whole stack sir. All right, so over here, sort, full up. Let's put a stack of gold in this bad boy and watch. Where is all of my ore? Didn't I bring in a sh Did I already process it all? I did, okay, that's fine. We'll just do iron then. I would have loved to have done gold, but I guess I processed it. All right, there's 64. So we just put 64 in. There's no iron over here. I'll wait till that comes down. Uh, so can that, does that mean I can do this now? Compile? Because if that works, then I can fix the other side of the system, which will be fan fucking tastic. And this is all still working. Yes, no screaming. You're still doing your thing. You're still rocking and rolling. Well, we're starting to draw on this network, though. <laughs> it's going to get the better, my friends. All right, there we go. So, flash. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. So that is loaded with a crafting pipe. So that means I can come over here, click on this. Crafting. Actually, I can just click here. Click there. Boom! We have a crafting logistics pipe. So my question is, will this crafting logistics pipe hook up with the rest of our pipes? Or am I going to have to do completely new pipes? Alright, so let's break this. And then we'll just attach him there. Oh yeah, we're going to have to use completely new fucking pipes. <laughs> Alright, so... I want it to go in the back. So then my question is, logistic pipes. 
Oh, that was so not even helpful. We'll get into this next time because we're already at 25 minutes. Um, what this does that the other one doesn't, or, well, I mean, this is the base one. Uh, oh, that was kind of sick. If I press U on this, um, you can see where it's supposed to. Crafting, what's it called again? Crafting logistics pipe, yeah. There's supposed to be different tiers. Yes, there is. Active requester plus source attaches to an automatic crafting table. Automatically crafts the item when requested. Can use the satellite pipe to send inputs elsewhere. So this is a tier one crafting pipe. There is supposed to be a tier two and a tier three pipe. Uh, apparently I don't have those yet because I do not see them, which is really odd. So yeah, I'm gonna go through all of these and I'm just gonna keep unlocking them. That's gonna take a little while. Once we get it all unlocked, um, I'm probably gonna have to go full logistics pipes down there, which is cool because I've never used it before. And those of you guys who are wondering, how the fuck do you have logistics pipes? I don't have logistics pipes. Update your pack. The pack updated on January 4th. Um, they changed tree feller. They added four mods. One of them was logistics pipes and I don't know what the other three were. Um, and they fixed some bugs. They updated some other mods. So there's that. So yes, or 5xing. Uh, it is vacking, which is fucking awesome. Dude, this is maxed out speed wise, by the way. That is not fast. But yeah, this thing is kind of a disappointment, honestly, speed wise. I can't believe it's a slow. This has got to be the slowest machine. I mean, this is all processed, so that's good. Which means I can then... Oh, sulfuric acid is out. Oh, that's because I cut the pipe, yeah. Does that make sense, yeah. That means this thing's thirsty. Of course, we did feed 64 blocks to it. Anyways, I'm just going to hook this back up for now. So it keeps going. There we go. That way this keeps running, just in case. Um, we're not losing any, we're not losing any percentages there because it's not like it duplicates, triplicates, quadruplicates, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it is, you know, we, we want it better. So for the next video, um, I'm going to expand these to heat them up more, hopefully. I'm still bummed that they're so shitty because these actually use fucking power. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna crank these up, get them hotter, because um, it's 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 a simple recipe and we have unlimited power at the moment. So uh, I'm gonna add I don't know <laughs> maybe 30 more because <laughs> I have to get production up on this because uh, that's a little low and it's freaking me out. Uh, we're probably fine with it that low, but honestly, I like to turn this thing up a little bit. Um, but yeah. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna get into logistics pipes. Um, we may go back into, we're either gonna start working on new worlds, uh, better armor, or UU matter. Probably gonna try UU matter first uh, because I think that'll be a little bit easier and it'll be easier on the server than me going to a bunch of different worlds. But, you know, that's also up to you guys. So if you guys would like to see something, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Do read all my comments and would love to hear from you. Also, big shout out. The Sahato Blade, X Legion X, Star Wars Josh Smith, Coaster 99, Ronald Weasley 24, Oakley Thomas Tucker, Kill 8925, and Zatharian. Thank all of you guys so very much for your support. I do appreciate it. Um, because of you guys, we have a server that this is running on now, which makes it run so much better. Which means I've recorded three videos today because I haven't had to reboot my pack 15 times. Thank you. Um, and then as we, you know, get more subs we have eight paying subs right now if we can get that number up to i don't know let's set a goal for 20 for february if we can get that up to 20 for february um we'll do some kind of survive a thon event maybe we'll do 1.12 two pack and do a pvp event because believe it or not believe it or not i'm walking on air we have icbm in here so, 
Now there's no shields, so <laughs> it's more like it's more like nuclear war with Russia. Cause you know you fire your missile at me, I go boom. Fire my missile at you, you go boom. It would be kind of whoever got missiles first and fucked the other people up. So it, it would be kind of interesting to see. Uh, I don't think anybody would last very long. Because uh, without force fields, things are going to get really bad really quickly. But uh, it could be fun. It could be fun. Or we could do some other things. Uh, I'm open to ideas. What, what kind of sub-reward goal would you guys like to see? So if you don't like my PvP idea, uh, what do you want to hear? Maybe we bring back uh, TDK Network for a weekend and... Uh, Everybody goes ham on GTA. Ah, it's up to y'all. Let me know what you want. That being said, folks, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for the support. Do appreciate it. You guys have a great week. Slap that like button. Help me burn the algorithm to the ground. Leave a comment if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.